Congressman Peters, this question is for you. Um, let's go macro one step further, right? Everyone's mm -hmm. already talking about 2018. 2018, right, right. here out 2018. Uh, every member in the House is up for re-election every two years. Mm -hmm. In the Senate, uh, there are 33 Senate seats up for grabs, 25 of those right now uh, Democrats. Right. And 10 of those 25 are in states where President Trump won by double digits. That is not a rosy picture for Democrats that are thinking about maybe trying to take back power in Washington, D.C., is it? That's tough to, to defend all those seats, let alone win over. Well, you asked me to be a pundit. I'm you know, asking. I ask, I ask, I respond to the, I mean, I, I answer to the constituents of my district, but I would say this. Um, I hope that Republicans will start to work with Democrats in a way that, that it sort of shows that they learn the lessons from the frustration they had over when the ACA was passed by just one. If they do that, I suspect that they have a pretty good chance to stay in the majority. If they don't, I think people are going to be really frustrated that they've got the keys to the Senate, the keys to the House, the keys to the White House, and haven't been able to get into do, <clears throat> do you Do you believe there's any regret in, in your party that, that your uh, the president, Obama, that is, didn't engage more with Republicans in the, in the outset of Obamacare and get more input? Because it seemed like it was one party that moved this thing along. Well, you know, I, I would just say to be fair to him, or you say yes, but to be fair to him, you know, Mitch McConnell started out saying his goal was not to improve the country, but to make Obama a one-term president. Uh, that's the is attitude. Is it shocking to hear a party out of power and a leader say that, though? But I don't, I don't think that's ever been the, the, what, what Americans. So, I mean, is if you look at Howard Baker, who was in the minority um, uh, during, he was the f person who asked Richard Nixon the toughest questions about impeachment, because yeah. he cared about his country before he cared about his party, and we need more of that on both sides. But frankly, we really need it to come from the majority because they're in power. Let, like uh, Senator Alexander today said he's going to work with Senator Murray. That's a great breakthrough. We yeah. need more of that. This has been a really good conversation. I, I can see this going on the road somehow. We'll just put well, we are on the road. We're on the road a lot. Put your leather chairs. Well, you know, you know, Scott and I uh, are well, working, let me, let me just working say. together on immigration reform, right. a lot of issues. So, it's, it, you know, one of the challenges people don't all, often understand, our constituents don't understand, Scott and I vote together the same vote on the vast majority of legislation that passes the House and becomes law. Uh, you know, people, don't, people see the ones we don't agree mm -hmm. on, but I can tell you, if you look at things that get to President Obama's desk or now President Trump's desk, mm -hmm. you're going to find out that Scott and I voted together on well over 90% of that. Okay, here's the last question, and this was kind of a, a retake from, from a debate question that happened, and that is, can you, as a Democrat, say something nice about either Republican Party or Congressman Issa? And Congressman Issa, can you say something nice about the Democrats and Congressman Peters? I remember that came up in a debate and it struck me. I thought, now that's great. That's awesome. What do you got? You guys both. Just I would say Daryl Smart there understands go. the innovation economy and um, is looking for ways to work together. And I think that's, that's all you can ask for in a colleague. Right on. Congressman? Uh, I'll go even beyond that. You know, Scott and I have worked together on legislation, but we, you have, we have a pretty neat delegation with Scott, Juan, uh, Duncan, and Susan that we're, we're able to work together for national issues, but we're also able to work together for San Diego issues. Mm -hmm. I think, I think we're, we're, we have that going for us. Yeah. The chemistry is good. Okay. Congressman Peters, you have an event. Do you want to plug it? A startup event? Some? Uh, we're, 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 we're trying to help uh, startups in San Diego, so yep. uh, check out the website and, and uh, try to be there. The Dow hit 22,000 this yeah. morning for the first time ever. How about yeah. that? The market's roaring, so that's a good thing. And uh, Scott and I worked together at Comic-Con, and he beat me in, in the Mario video Kart. game. Yeah. He, he's much better at it. I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to improve my game after Comic-Con. There you go. There yeah. you go. Great. Uh, final thoughts, gentlemen. I think we got it here. Yeah, I'll give you a couple more seconds. I, I just want to look. I, I just want to let people know I'm I'm willing to work with Republicans or Democrats to get stuff done. I hope that after this uh, health care episode, that that's what we get get back to doing. Okay. It's exactly the same message. The uh, the fact is, we're not in election season. Let's not get to it early. Let's let's work on getting things done. Uh, what Scott's being asked to do, what I'm being asked to do, 90 percent of it's exactly the same. Let's do it. All right. Uh, Representative uh, Congressman Daryl Issa, Congressman Scott Peters. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Thanks, I think this is a productive conversation. Good. Appreciate it. Have us back. And hopefully, yeah. everybody out there, maybe you thought so as yeah. well. Straight ahead on News 8 Morning X.